hello everyone welcome welcome you all uh, welcome you all uh, we are today with with, uh, with mr vishwas gajera and uh, he is uh, currently mtech student uh, at isc bangalore in robotics and automation automo um, autonomous systems so mr vishwas uh, will uh, get you guys through uh, his experience uh, uh, for uh, his interviews for MS at uh, uh, Aerospace Department and for MTech interview and other interview. So, Mr. Viswas, please start. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm uh, Viswas from ISC Bangalore, and I'm currently pursuing robotics uh, fr from Robot Boss uh, Department in IIC. Uh, previous year, I scored uh, pretty decent in uh, Gate Aerospace, uh, and I joined IGC last year. Okay, so last year I uh, applied lo at lots of places and I appeared for the interview at uh, three places. First was the IIT Bombay PhD Aerospace interview, and I I was interested in uh, guidance, navigation, and dynamics and control. So uh, the uh, IIT Bombay interview I just uh, appeared for the practice. I think uh, you should you guys should do it too. So the interview process were like uh, admission process. Like uh, first there was a written test. Uh, uh, return test was online and it was for two two and a half hours. Uh, format for the return test was MCQ, MSQ, and NAT. Pretty much like a gate questions. Difficulty was all uh, around gate gate level, and they asked uh, questions from mathematics and uh, for dynamics and controls. They asked for lots of questions like uh, forty percent questions from control system, forty percent from mathematics, and twenty randomly. 20% from aptitude. Uh, mathematics uh, in the control system, uh, they uh, uh, did heavily on transfer function and stability. I think there were a lot of lots of questions from transfer function and stability. Uh, after that, I received a call letter for interview. And uh, in, in interview, uh, <clears throat> they asked for a statement of purpose, like why do I want to join uh, uh, aerospace uh, PhD in IIT Bombay. Uh, so you will have to write uh, 200 or 300 words uh, brief. And uh, interview in the interview process, there were uh, two professors. Uh, we had to choose uh, whom we, with whom we, we I want to, we want to do the interview. And uh, because I was interested in dynamics and control, they asked uh, questions from uh, mostly from control systems. Uh, and in mathematics, uh, they asked from differential equations and linear differential equations. Uh, and uh, then main other major fo focus was on my project work, because my project work was on uh, design of nonlinear controls. Uh, they asked uh, lots of questions from them. And at the end, they asked a question, one question from uh, uh, hypothetical. They created a hypothetical situation on a gas turbine, and they asked, what if uh, uh, there is a noise coming from the jet turbine, and what could be the possible fail mode of failure? <clears throat> Hello. Hello. Yes, yes, we uh, Continue, please. Oh. Okay. And then the, my second interview experience was uh, ISC MS Aerospace uh, interview. Uh, I was actually looking forward to joining this, uh, and. I, so I appeared. Even did I have I had offer? I appeared for the MS interview, aerospace interview. Okay, this interview took like a half an hour. So when you go to the uh, interview interview room, they'll actually make they'll ask you about your background and they'll make you comfortable and then they'll start uh, uh, asking a question and they'll start they'll they'll start asking question from moderate difficulty to then they'll increase it as if you are able to answer then they'll increase the difficulty or if you are not able to answer they'll give you hints so you don't have to worry about that and if you do if you are if you do not know uh, the answer you just accept that i don't know the answer of the question you don't want them to catch catch you so the first question they asked uh, was like uh, they asked me uh, draw uh, there's a planet of um, big planet of mass m and we are th throwing a, a small ball of mass small m radially outwards and they asked me to ask me 
to what will be the velocity when the ball reaches at the distance x from the center of center of the planet or surface of the planet so initially i was doing uh, that with uh, energy method but then they asked to do it form the differential equation and then solve the differential equation uh, i was still struggling a little bit in that but, but then they helped and i was able to derive the differential equation so after solving the differential equation they asked me about uh, what would happen if the uh, velocity is too much so the particle will escape so they asked me about uh, escape velocity and a few different questions then they asked me like uh, if there is no atmo atmosphere or what difference will be there if there is atmosphere and that there is no atmosphere they won't ask you specific ma mathematical mathematical equation but they ask you like energy difference and velocity difference not quantifies but uh, general idea then they moved on to do my bachelor's project Be because my bachelor's project was uh, somewhere somewhat related to controls and aerospace dynamics my bachelor's project was on uh, design of uh, control design for control design nonlinear control design for control moment gyroscopes and using that i was uh, building some uh, cuboid vehicle i was not able to do it but we did it in a simulation so then they asked the in nonlinear controls the prior if we are designing a nonlinear controls uh, everywhere we start with the yap now yap now function and yap now theory so i designed with that so they asked me question what the specifically they asked me the what yap now function i choose to design the controls and uh, how like what 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 were the trial and error methods to reach that yap now function so i was able to answer that and after that they went on to uh, mathematical mathematical questions they asked me to uh, solve the third order linear differential equation but i was not able to do it so then they asked me to uh, solve the second order differential equation i was able to do it then they asked me like try this method on third order differential equation then i was able to do it and, and then uh, they asked me one or two different questions that i was not able to answer and then they asked me some numerical methods question even that numerical question method was even numerical question methods i was not able to answer but uh, they seemed pretty happy and at the end i did receive a offer letter so if you are like if you are able to answer 60 to 70% of the questions you you have a good pretty good chance of selection mm -hmm. and my next uh, experience is uh, iic robotics interview so the iic robotics interview they take a 70% uh, gate score and 30% uh, interview score for for the last year the cut off for, for aerospace cut off was 625 and there were not a lot of people from aerospace applying into the robotics i think in my department i am the only one who's uh, who has applied from aerospace paper and who has got selected so aerospace people have a pretty high chance for getting selected uh when you will appear for the interview before the like three or before two days they'll ask you to they asked us to make a four slide presentation about uh, our project or their details and uh what result we got is the project work can be anything if you are working in the company um your company project can be also work if you have done something for your hobby that can also work but uh, if uh, it is somewhat related to controls or robotics it will it will be better okay. and uh, so most of the like 70 to 80% uh, interview was around uh, uh, my technical work because they specifically asked for them to make the four slides uh if uh, they may ask uh, some questions from the control systems uh, like say, single input single output control systems but in my case uh, i was not asked because my uh, my project was already on the nonlinear controls and the one of the professor uh, was expert in uh, dynamics and control so he, he took the most of the interview and at the end of the interview they asked me to they, like they asked me questions from mathematics and this is a all this was already expected they will ask you to plot some graphs from random functions like some basic functions some like mod x uh, mod sin x sin mod x basic functions so you should prepare that so that interview also went pretty well 
uh, and I did receive a offer from the IC Robotics and I joined uh, Robotics. So, and uh, here's a few other you know, things about uh, department. So, IAC, I have linked the uh, Robotics curriculum, curriculum with uh, this is a presentation. So, Robotics curriculum is uh, if you Google the uh, RBCCPS, you will be able to see your curriculum. The program is uh, very unique in India, like it's uh, and uh, only IIC is offering. I think only IIC and IIC, IIT Guwahati is offering, but IIC has a pretty pretty unique uh, coursework. So if you are not sure if you want to take a robotics or not, then go through this phase. Like if you are sure, like you want to take a robotics, then no worries. If you are not, if you are some doubtful, go through this, uh, go, go through this page and uh, look at these uh, core courses and find out a little bit about core courses. And if you are, if you think you will be, you will enjoy learning these co courses, then you should uh, apply for the robotics because it's a pretty futuristic branch. Uh, and uh, I see every month uh, new and new partnership uh, in performing with uh, uh, RBCC, our RBCC PhD department. Just like uh, one month ago, there was a, a meeting with uh, Airbus India, and they did uh, collaborate with uh, RBCC PS. And uh, from our batch, they introduced uh, sponsored candidates. So in my batch, we have two ISRO ISRO candidates and two Army candidates. So this it is pretty good because ISRO and Army candidates are very competent. They are very disciplined. And uh, you get to learn a lot of from them. Like uh, two of the ISO, I, I had a privilege to work with one of the ISO scientists, and he has uh, he had like six or seven years of experience in guidance and navigation. So they can teach you a lot if you are able to take advantage of. Uh, and there, uh, there is a professor from Cornell University who is visiting uh, IIC for four to five years here. And he is a very famous uh, professor, and uh, he is in collaboration with our RBCCPS department and mechanical department. And he he has done a lot of work in Cornell University on robotics. He is actually chair person in the robotics department at the university, Cornell University. And right now he's uh, in the RBCC. He's in the IASC for I think three to four years. I, and actually, I'm working under him. Uh, for the future opportunities, we also uh, employment is obvious because it's a uh, robotics will uh, it's a futuristic branch, and I, I think a lot of the major area will require the robotics research. And the, uh, in our department also, there is a lot of industrial collaboration. Like if you, uh, there are few projects from DRDO and ISRO getting uh, coming to the IAC in the robotics department. Uh, placement, uh, we had only one batch who like free before us, so they almost all of them got placed. Who wanted the placement, all of them got placed. The major companies are Mercedes, Collins Aerospace, uh, HCL. They, they, these are the one, these are the few on top of my mind. Uh, one thing I would say about IIC is like, uh, uh, coursework are pretty, pretty competent. You need to put a lot of uh, effort from day one uh, and they are more mathematical heavy sides and uh, because you are joining isc and iits uh, they are here we have a lot of study study culture so i would encourage you people to socialize a lot because uh, if you don't socialize then uh, you, it's uh, gets quite boring so <clears throat> Uh, and we have a. If you are interested, we have a lot of culture and sports activities. Uh, I would say if you if, even if you are not interested, I would suggest you try new things. And uh, like if you are if you constantly put effort to socialize, like talk, uh, depart, talk, make friends in the department and also outside the department, you will have a pretty good experience for for two years. Okay. Uh, and here, here is a my last semester's project i was uh, i did uh, with a uh, isro scientist so 
So in this, we had to design dynamics and control for a, a biped model. This was a project in the, our one of the core courses. So I did get to learn a lot from this course. Thank you guys. Uh, do you have any, if you have any questions? So thank you, Iswas. Thank you very much for sharing so many insights uh, about your journey to, you know, robotics and yeah. <clears throat> so you can share your few experience of your learning with IGC uh, and uh, our post gate guidance, because uh, earlier your interest was uh, directly to aerospace core and then uh, you know, Lokesh has provided that session on robotics and then you are, you know, the initial work on control. So things move to this and uh, I hope you are quite satisfied because again, a lot of aerospace applications are there and aerospace companies are approaching, uh, you know, either ISR or to Airbus. So it's really good here, right? The robotics so, program is, I think it's really good because the external like external agencies like isro and drd are looking for for the yes uh, yes so it is it's a it's big yes yes Good. and, uh, and initially, I think, yes yeah. Yeah, yeah continue please uh, initially i had uh, interest in aerospace but my general interest was in dynamics and control so uh, and my okay. in aerospace my particular interest was uh, in a power decent guidance and it com comes under the category of dynamics and control so oh. in the uh, around the world uh, this problem goes under either robotics or aerospace so i was comfortable with both of them oh, so at, because the uh, robotics covers a large area so I, then i then the aerospace so i at the, at the end i decided to take uh, take up uh, this uh, robotics and it was like pretty lucky decision because the one of the one of my few friend uh, who is a ISRO scientist? He has act, he's actually a guidance engineer, so I get to learn a lot of from him. Okay, good, good, good. I'm happy. Uh, so, the first place uh, you have put uh, very sincere efforts during your preparation, even yeah. you were being from mechanical background, you could uh, get top 20 rank uh, in uh, aero paper. So, first place you were good. Then, you always, uh, I, I know you used to hear us, uh, follow us very well during preparation and then post gate mm -hmm. guidance part and now you yourself is providing post gate guidance. So it's <laughs> really, you know, a, an excellent journey actually. So good. So, so now the floor is open for questions. Yeah, please. I would encourage students to, if you are, even if you are not uh, appearing for the, uh, if you are, if you don't want to take uh, admission for the PhD, just appear for the interview. It will give you the experience because I didn't have any experience prior, prior any prior interview experience. So I just appeared for the PhD aerospace interview just for the try. So okay. apply for the interview. Good. Yeah, yeah, good. Uh, because every interview gives, uh, uh, you know, something, uh, offer something to learn and uh, understand ourselves, okay, yeah. where we stand and what improvement we should do. So guys, uh, even uh, in fact, those uh, who may be getting easy MTech seat, they can apply at least in uh, some of the places to get top-notch uh, interview experience. Like those who are already getting like uh, easy MTech in uh, top IITs, they can apply in ISC, MS or ISC mechanical department MS program or they may apply in robotics if they are interested in interdisciplinary branch. So guys, those who are watching this session can thumbs up uh, if the things are uh, going as expected by you guys. And now floor is open for questions. So guys can write in chat uh, your question. Yeah, so yesterday there was one question, uh, uh, how to prepare for this control and uh, guidance uh, interview? Uh, for the controls, uh, you can look at the YouTube uh, 
there's a lecture series on the YouTube from IIT Madras. You just need to bachelor's level controls, single input, single output, single input, single output controls, their transfer function and step input and all things. Okay. In fact, uh, IGC have expertise uh, uh, for uh, control system because we have EC electrical branch. So when Locus prepared, uh, Locus also appeared for this control and guidance into uh, control and dynamics at I IIT Bombay. Okay. So that time I helped, uh, but as you mentioned, uh, open source uh, sources are also there, right? Like IIT Madras, so can refer. Yeah, so there is one question. What are other research going on in ISC related to dynamics and control? Uh, dynamics and control, I have, I don't really have much idea, but I today I talked to one of the PhD student in uh, from the aerospace department, he's uh, interested in uh, dynamics and control, so he's working on the, uh, the the satellite which which has gone out of control, and if we want to dock with that satellite, so we will like we will first form the swarm. It goes under the robotics and aerospace because we are doing a swarm thing in. In the orbit. So first, we are what, what they are doing with the swarm of swarm of controllable satellite. They'll put uh, some sensors around the satellite, and then they figure out uh, how that its docking port is rotating, and they'll create a path of docking port, and they'll give that uh, path to to the cooperative spacecraft, and it and go and dock with the spacecraft. Uh, in the dynamics and control of the area of the robotics, uh, my professor, professor is working on uh, uh, biped, and there's a uh, one sailboard sailboard project. Sailboard project is very unique. It uh, covers a uh, di dynamics control and optimization. Uh, and there is a other pro dynamics and like a pretty heavily dynamic involved project is a bi steer cycle. So the cycle which has a front front wheel and Rear will both of them are both of, both of them is steerable, so it's a pretty unknown dynamics and control problem. That project is actually, uh, I think, uh, it, project may, uh, yeah, please, yes, yes, which was continue. Uh, Professor Andy Ruina is working on is a expert on robotics from Cornell University. So if you just Google uh, Andy Ruina, you'll visit his page and he. You'll, you'll learn up you'll get to learn about uh, courses he has taught and uh, things he has worked work, worked on okay. so he, he, he I'll add on, uh, yeah i i will add on there is one professor called ratnu uh, ashwini ratnu ashwini ratnu yes he is from yeah. the aerospace department uh, yeah in aerospace department and he works lo a lot on dynamics and control and guidance so uh, Professor Ashwini Ratnu's background is electrical engineering, so he comes from that background and he do a lot of work. And um, his uh, student was like his uh, research associate was one of my friends. He's in now USA, uh, you know, uh, uh, Arizona State University. Arizona so they State. Are, they have, yeah, they are one of the world's top robotic center there. So she works in that area. So Akriti in ISC, there are some good options there. Uh, even the, uh, our right uh, in the second semester in the robotics, there is a course on path planning. It is taught by uh, Professor uh, Aerospace Professor, uh, okay. and it is a collab collaborative course between aerospace and it is co that course is migrated from the aerospace to the robotics. Oh. A lot of the, the, we get. To, Lot of the missile guidance stuff is migrated to robotics, and we actually learned that. So, okay. actually, aerospace is one of the fields uh, where all uh, uh, the top, uh, it's, uh, it's, top technology, the latest technologies are used, right? So, that's that's that, that's good. Yeah. One question is that. So, what is the use of dynamics and control in ISRO? ISRO, the uh, see, the guidance engineer uh, are comes under the group of uh, dynamics and control. Let's say if there's a problem of a uh, uh, descent module of uh, Chandrayaan to the lunar surface. So that entire problem uh, goes under the dynamics and control group. 
Yeah. If you want to design a new maneuver or new new orbit or new rotational maneuver, it that goes under dynamics and control. And if we have a, a satellite with fuel or anything else, so how fuel fuel are the fuel is a liquid thing and a antenna sent antenna is also able to vibrate. So the, these problem are like they constantly lose if you put uh, as it is they constantly lose energy due to vibration so how this uh, those spacecraft will evolve over time the study of those uh, things comes under the dynamics and control yeah right yeah so simran is it clear any more question guys Yeah, so actually this was, uh, there was one mechatronics guy, he joined our gate 2024 coaching. So today only he was calling and asking, ki, what is the future and all. So I told not to worry, first you must Yeah, mechatronics is like a pretty, because yeah. in a robotics one of, with, yeah. yes. because in robotics one of, uh, two or three of our senior got placed in Mercedes in a mechatronics profile. Yes, yes. So I told him just focus would be to getting the kind of rank Mr. Vishwas got, right? Yeah. If you have such ranks, easily you can get uh, the best place and then not to. Placement right now should not be worried. Uh, uh, if you get After a good seat doing to work. Uh, Akruti, uh, see which department you are asking? Aerospace or uh, robotics or what department? See, Akriti, uh, placement wise, uh, core placement is also there, non core is there in robotics. Uh, your Mr. Lokes was there, right? He got a reasonably package in 20s lakh. Okay. So, mm -hmm. it's a 20s lakhs is reasonable, right? It's not yeah, bad amount. In, yeah. And the uh, highest package by IGCN is 38 lakh um, by Vedant Gupta. I should not disclose this uh, figure here uh, with NAM, but uh, I'm just sharing. So he's also from ISC. And then in, <clears throat> in core aerospace, if you want, the uh, package will be between 15 to 20 lakh, Akriti. And many people actually, they are getting placed in Mercedes Benz and uh, uh, not uh, core, uh, like they are core companies, but not exactly aerospace company like ExxonMobil, uh, Siemens PLM. You should not be worried about, I think, placement right now because yeah, like, yeah. Placement you have a lot of be not, yeah. and if you are best at what you do, I think you will be, if you even get a low package initially, you will be pretty able to, you will be able to climb a hierarchy pretty fast in the corporate around. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, with so good learning right now, and background. Focus should be on the learning rather than the placement. Like, find yes. out what you like. Uh, yeah. And take that branch rather than the going for the which branch is the highest placement. Uh, Akriti, one more thing. Uh, see, um, IS, see, always ISR or DRDO is there to hire uh, with the kind of expertise you guys will get down the line. Am I correct or not? Because in DRDO itself, uh, with the gate score, which whatever you are going to get, you will have a call in upcoming years. So you can get both. Uh, as far as I understand, uh, either private or government organization in your coming future. Okay, but the only thing uh, till you get that the government opportunity or uh, uh, private good job, you have to do your masters. Okay. Hmm. Now, Akriti, uh, see, ISC, you should choose if you are so much interested in, uh, you know, uh, or you are more inclined towards research related uh, work or futuristic uh, research work, right? If I say correctly, uh, which was. Yes, okay. yes, yes. IIT is uh, also good. Uh, there also good uh, work is going, but I, IIT is more. Uh, placement oriented college okay or more 
systematic placement oriented college if i say okay because they have the uh, you know um, uh, better infrastructure in terms of the uh, placement cells and all which uh, i previously you know from your uh, some of the previous batch i got this feedback this was when covid time was going uh, there were uh, placement issues okay so yeah 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 so because isc you know is not mean for you know uh, giving you know say the like simple jobs kind of people right they produce the yeah. best uh, research talent research. even the half of the seniors got a research profile rather than a simple yes and they will go many will go for abroad for phd in the best places they will get good recommendation good uh, you know Uh, labs outside India for future work. So clear, uh, Kriti. This point is clear. Yeah. Yes or no? Yeah. Any more question, guys? If no, then we can wind up. Okay, I had one, one, one more thing to say. Like, uh, yeah, please, no yeah. matter you go, if you go to IIC or IIT, like these are very studious environment because people want to uh, like do excellent at the stuff. So I cannot force you enough to do socialization outside your department. You absolutely try hardest to make your friends outside department and try some new things. Like if you are interested in sports. Continue sports. If you are interested in dance or cultural things, do continue pursuing that. Even if you are not interested in any of that, try new things because if you like just the entire day, like it, it's pretty easy to uh, get depressed and all. So I cannot stress you enough. Do socialize and do try new things outside study. Like it had it has helped me a lot. Like I have amazing experience. At, even being at IIC, I have amazing amazing experience. Yes, yes. Uh, in IIC, uh, yeah, mm, but actually IIC lot much pressure for assignments and all. That's yeah, there in uh, other IITs also, but uh, in IIT, uh, IIT have more. Uh, you know, B Tech people are there, na? So more active or more energy. Uh, you know that kind of culture. IIT have different culture compared to IIC. So. Some differences are there, but yeah, all facilities are there. Extracurricular, all the sports activities are there. Many uh, so people can do while learning. And the good thing, like uh, you are doing this M Tech two year program. So uh, if MS program is more rigorous and more challenging, actually, this was. Yeah, I, 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 if you remember, I have told you when you were appearing that <laughs> time also. So. That's the you know I have my own students who have done MS, M Tech research from ISC and some people many have done M Tech, but those who have done M Tech research they have spent so much of energy to you know complete their degree compared to M Tech two year program. So challenges are there, but uh, it depends on the individual choice and also you know how the people you know they work. Because some people just worried for job, some people have yeah. you know family pressures, and many many factors are there in life. You know how it evolves over the time. So, but uh, it's good to be social, to make friends. Uh, in ISC also, variety of people are there, as you told, uh, told the sponsored candidates and all. So same thing in IIT. So. Uh, they can you have uh, we can learn a lot from many different people and one thing from the sponsor can is like they are very experienced and they have reached there because they are very hard working so yes. they are very matured yes. and experienced so you have a lot from them hard working and humble also see because when i was at iit madras uh, which was there is one scientist from uh, drdo hyderabad okay drdl uh his name is sai sai prashad he was so nice and so helping and you know so humble to me always till till he will call me and he will ask how oh, and now he has i think progressed to very good uh, position in the ladder 
uh, okay and he was handling astra uh, that is uh, astra what is that missile is there now i think mm -hmm. uh, uh, astra or something so uh, you know it's really good uh, you know to mingle with these peer, sponsored candidate and learn from them so that's a good thing about iits and isc so i think uh, uh, it seems no more question yeah some more question is there uh, sagar we will uh, discuss your question uh, get uh, mechatronics in uiit yeah one question is there if you can answer uh, should anyone get mechatronics in new iit or nit core mech something is there i am not able to understand his question what you wish was suggest someone should opt uh, see i know one person when i was working in industry uh, uh, there is uh, uh, like uh, with me there were people from nit suratkal mechatronics working in aerospace companies and i was at utc aerospace system or some other company sagar so it's good uh, mechatronics branch uh, um, also good uh, uh, at uh, nit also yeah any book uh, suggestions for dynamics and control regarding exam and interview uh, vishwas dynamics and control for the aerospace dynamics you just need a gate space mechanics that's all and control is that iit madras uh, lectures yeah or, so uh, and even so the space power mechanics power. the questions were asked from like 12th or jwe level questions so okay you mean that uh, space dynamics questions uh, which we learn in orbit and all trajectories uh, and oh, okay yeah so pavan uh, uh, like you can prepare well for space dynamics then uh, uh, that uh, flight dynamics and then control which he suggested uh, can you uh, share me that exactly which iit madras professors lecture so i'll forward to these guys okay i'll share you the link yeah yeah please yeah sure thank you any more question guys so again if you guys like this session can thumbs up this uh, session and uh, uh, i think we can wind up uh, we'll just wait for few seconds if any more question then so thank you very much uh, uh, mr viswas for yeah again a question any iit have ms in robotics mr sagam uh, sagar you should follow igc uh, post gate guidance uh, sessions well uh, we have already discussed in iit mandi it is there i think iit guwahati has robotics program but i don't know if uh, ms is offered iit mandi also have uh, recently we have discussed Yeah, so Sagar, we have told now. Yeah, in uh, I IIT Mandi, it is there. Okay. We have done one session uh, two days back uh, on IIT Mandi. There, the uh, the 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 delivery uh, like uh, presenter have already told. And you can uh, Sagar, and one more thing you can do, na uh, your own uh, survey. You can re. Uh, go to a, every iit's website wherever ms are there we have already told which, which, which all places iit mandi i am knowing uh, i have to check about iit guwahati because in iit guwahati also ms program is there so uh, which was we have to check hmm. on that yeah you can watch sagar anyway that yeah so uh, anyone else any other question So thank you all those who have watched uh, this session and thank you Mr. Vishwas for making this session.
and all the best to you all uh, tomorrow result is coming actually this was uh, get result is coming so guys we will meet you all tomorrow with team igc and uh, we'll be discussing more things all the best thank you all thank you thank you, uh, thank you sir yeah thank you yeah thank you